All right, welcome to lesson two and the second declension. We're going to start off with the vocabulary words on page 17. Our first word here is servus, servi. So this has different endings than the first declension. We see our nominative singular ending is us and our genitive singular ending is e. That is going to mark it as a second declension masculine word. When we drop the declension identifier of the long I, we find our stem of S-E-R-V. Down here I've broken it into its syllables. It's a two syllable word, so the accent is going to go on the first of the two syllables. So, servus and servi. On the back I've written its translation of slave or servant, marked that it is second declension and that it is masculine. Also, that it is a noun and found on page 17. Our second word here is phileus. So, phileus, philii. So, we see again the us, e endings. Dropping the genitive singular, you get your stem of f i l i. Broken into its syllables, we have a three syllable word, if you start at the end, go back one, is it long, it's not, go back one more, and that's where our accent goes. So, phileus and philei. That translates to son. We see it is also second declension and masculine. Next up, we have deus, dei. So, deus, dei also having the us e ending and a stem of de down here i put it into its syllables it's a two syllable word so there's always the accent on the first of the two syllables flipping it over we see that this translates to god if you noticed on the front side the deus dei was capitalized as with god on the back here so we're talking about the one and only God, not lowercase g. This is an uppercase g. So when we decline it, we are only going to decline in the singular, never into the plural. Over here, second declension, masculine word. Next up is amicus, amici. Also dropping the genitive singular ending here. We get the stem of A-M-I-C. We put it into its syllables. Three syllable word. So we're gonna start at the end, go back one. Is it long? It is. So the accent goes here. Our emphasis is put on the me. So amicus, amici. This translates to friend, much like the Spanish word. Also second declension and masculine. Now we have Christus Christi. Christus Christi, dropping the genitive singular, you get Christ. Putting into its two syllables, it looks like a lot in this one syllable, but again, we have just one vowel sound here and one vowel sound here, so two syllables, putting it, the accent on the first of the two, we have Christus and Christi. This translates to Christ. Also, only declined in the singular as there's only one. Second declension, masculine. Now we have Christianus and Christiani. Dropping the genitive singular, you have Christian as your stem. And this is a four syllable word. If it's three or more, we again, we start at the end, go back one, ask, is it long? It is. So this is where our emphasis is going on the long A. So Christianus, Christiani. Translates to Christian. Second declension, masculine. And our last word is et. And et translates to the word and not being a noun it is a conjunction and you can find it on page 17.